Hello, it's Slowboy3 and I'll be do showing you how to port for a Sky Router. And I'll be showing you how to use it, the IP for the um, for Minecraft server. Because most of you probably need that. So, let's go on to your internet browser. And in the address bar, type in 192.168.0.1. And now it'll go on to your, Scott, your router login. So the password, mine's already up because it, I don't know why it is, it just is. But if it's not up, the username is your admin, the password is your password. And if that's not right, you need to ask whoever like, owns the computer, whatever, if they've changed it, what the password is. So go on, log in. No, log in. And I go on, security. services and then add custom services now name it whatever you want to name it cause you need to be able to um, recognize it I'm gonna name it minecraft yeah name it minecraft because it's gonna be it's gonna use my minecraft server and then insert type to tcp slash udp and then the start port so if Minecraft servers you just start imports you two five five six five and then you can and then the finish port is can be any number higher than that because depends on how many number ports you need. So it could be so I'll set minus two five five six eight. Which gives me four four ports I can use. Yeah, four ports. Now, once you've done that, once you've set your all that, press apply, and it should come up on the bottom there, on the service table. Now go on to firewall rules, and then go and then go on to inbound services and click add. And then you need to select the one you made, which always pop up at the top. So there you go, that's my one there. And then go on, click action to allow always. And then for the for this, we need to do that's basically like your internal internal IP, which you need to put in so it recognises what computer. I think. So 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 go on start menu. Type in the search bar CMD. Press enter. Now you've got this box here, black box. And type in IP config. And then go to the top and go to the t set of results below in Ethernet adapt to local area connection, which is your top information box. So the one you need is this IV IPv4 address. And you need to put that in. You put that into and you put that in that this box, these four boxes here. Now, now you see they're separated by dots. These are four sets of numbers, so so you just put a number for the dot. So the first one was 1.92, 168, 0, and 2. And then keep that as that is and then log always. So now, now you should have set up the port forwarding and it's gone through your firewall so it will allow it to go through. So you can exit and then you can exit, don't need this anymore. And then so so what you need to do is you need to make your server and then this is my ticket server, which you will see in video four. And this is the and you need to go in the server properties folder where you do your information for it. And server port so the port can be like any of the port, if it, any of the ports, range of ports you set for your port for the IP. Which my first one was 25565, which is the default server port for Minecraft. And I'll just keep it like that. And the server IP, you keep blank, as you can see. Because it automatically knows what your IP is. So that's, so it's done. And then you've gone, and you start your server up check if it works and it should work and 
wait if it's loading it's working here you go it's working let's keep that on and that's about all also um, you should check your IP like you should check your IP every so often because portable IPs do change so for example so so so, so, so oh yeah also I've got to tell you something to log on to your server you also need to know you also need to know what your IP is to log on to the server which isn't the same as the one you put in to firewall rules so to see what your IP is do what is I IP and there you go Pub so you need this address here which tells you what your public IP address is or if you have like something like Google Chrome which I have just, just, just I've just got this Google Chrome extension which tells me my IP straight away but this is the way to check your IP if you're um, if you need to know because you need this to log on to your to your server that's all guys for the moment um, don't forget to subscribe to me uh, like the video if you if you think it's really useful even add to your favourites if you really like it it'll help it pop up on the YouTube page and and comment on what other tutorials I should do because I'm not really sure on what tutorials I should do so so if you have any tutorials you need help on and I know how to do it I'll do it I'll do a video on it that's all guys so bye